Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm sharing part two of my collective haul, things that I've recently picked up. And honestly, this might be the last thing I get from Chanel. If you're tuning in for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to do these luxury fashion videos here on YouTube. I share hauls and reviews, but at the end of the day, I share my journey so we can all mindfully curate our own collections. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on recent luxury collections. All of your support really means a lot to me. If you haven't watched part one, I will link it up above so you can check it out as well. There were a lot of cool, interesting goodies in that one. Um, this one, hopefully I can keep it pretty short and sweet, is on a couple of pieces that I picked up recently. Uh, they're sort of tied to recent collections, yes, but um, these are, they all got a story. I mean, like they all do, but they all got a story. And honestly, we all know we were all enraged with the recent Chanel price increases. I'm right there with you. So I honestly think this is going to be like one of the last things I pick up from Chanel. I'm going to start off with Louis Vuitton. I don't know that anyone can guess this item. <laughs> uh, I didn't know it existed either until I saw it in the store. So uh, this was a, a rather impulse buy. I picked up this keychain. I know, I know. How stupid does it look? And in this context, stupid is a good thing. Uh, <laughs> it is super colorful. It is from the men's collection. Surprise, surprise. Uh, and it is this like kitschy, like charm block keychain. <laughs> you can see it has the um, like hook hook and then it has the little ring as well on a rope and you might be wondering why did I want this why did I get this what am I doing with this item as soon as I saw it I felt like this would be really great to use as a phone charm it had to turn into a little project so I, I embarked on this little DIY myself and I made it into a little phone case <laughs> This is what I had envisioned for it. And uh, is this like practical? Absolutely not. None of this is meant for practicality purposes outside of the case itself. It has a MagSafe like magnet on it so I can stick a portable battery. That's, so that adds some utility. But all I did was add this little um, stick on hook and this is like really sturdy and really heavy. So um, I have no concerns of it falling off. And then I just hooked the keychain right on there. It also makes my phone weigh pretty heavy, but um, it, it does make it really easy to find. And it can also be easy to just like grab my phone like this as well. Um, and when I'm like browsing or doing something, I just kind of hold it up together like this. Um, also, when I go to lay my phone down, because it's kind of chunky, it kind of serves as a little stand. It actually surprised me at how multi-purpose it is. That is from the latest spring summer men's collection. They made a whole like very long rope belt. I think Usher wore the belt to the men's show. They also have a bucket hat that has the same rope um, and little charm details to be like the thing that cinches it in. All of those are super, super cute, but I am really happy with this like silly keychain. On to Chanel. Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm right there with you. I'm not happy about any of the price increases. I just cannot believe where some of these prices are at. I think I can do like a whole separate video if you guys want like my next chatting in my closet video to be us ranting and raging about the Chanel price increases. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, very luckily, I got this right before the price increase. So, but it was still, it's still. Inside is this little bag. You can already tell that it's a small leather good. I, I don't remember the last time I actually bought like a bag from Chanel because these prices. Inside, ah, ta-da! This is from the spring summer collection. I believe this is part one. So I believe that makes it 23P. It is their little belt bag that came out in this motif. So you can see it has a chain for it to be like a little belt bag with a little lobster claw here and a little bit of a dangling chain. And um, it's actually in rose gold hardware. This is the very first rose gold hardware piece that I have from Chanel. And I really liked it with this like metal 
outline almost, uh, but it does have just a magnetic closure. Inside is a um, slip pocket and then it's pretty much an open compartment. It's super small, super cute. It's practically the price of a walk five, 10 years ago. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's definitely not a walk size. It's a creamy white leather and I don't know if it leans more cream because of the rose gold hardware or if it indeed is pretty cream. Like, I don't know if that helps. Like it's a little bit whiter, but it's not like a fluorescent white color. It doesn't look like white out. It looks a little bit off white, uh, which is what I liked about it. I got this to be, um, I got this to be my little wedding bag. <laughs> uh, completely unnecessary, I know. Um, I should just call this like hall of useless things basically. <laughs> but I really wanted to get something that was white for the wedding, but something that I could reuse um, and wear easily for other things as well. I was looking at a whole bunch of different brands, but to be honest, they just like didn't quite feel me. I felt like just so much of my love for luxury stemmed with Chanel. I just, I sort of felt like it should be a Chanel bag, but with Chanel collections, you never know when, what colors they're really going to release. White is not a like classic color they always release every time. So I wasn't sure. And then I saw Spring Summer did have a number of white pieces come out. And I, like I said, I really liked this uh, metal edge, the little trimming. Um, I feel like it really makes this piece look a lot more elegant. It makes it look a little bit more dressy, but the size is still so small that it can still be cute. And it's not like I really need a functioning bag on my wedding day. It's not like I'm walking down the aisle with this. So it's more going to be for like pictures and for me to hold probably like my lipstick um, if I'm going to change my earrings or something like, you know, I could put those little bits of accessories in here, have it available and then carry it out with me afterwards. So that's the purpose of this bag. They do make a full size walk in this same style, which I also loved. I also tried it on. I did not love the price tag on it and it was bigger and I just didn't feel like I was actually going to wear the walk as much as I would want to. Um, I don't know. The leather felt a little bit different on the bigger size. I just, I liked this one a lot better. So I think for my actual like wedding day, I think I'm gonna tie the straps on the inside and just make it be like a little top handle <laughs> so that I could just like carry it around like this. It's not tied right now, so it's just gonna keep opening. But like that's sort of my plan because I think it'll be like really cute in certain photos if I'm just like holding this on the side. And then it's easy to just like put away. And then later when I'm leaving, I can just like throw it over my shoulder and I still, it's like super easy to carry my things with me. Uh, this might legitimately be one of the last Chanel purchases I make. I won't say never because it's always, it always depends on like, does something really catch my eye and uh, do I really think it's like worth it? You know, it, it, it will depend, but I am not jumping head over heels to like try to get the next piece that comes out, try to get the it bags, like try to, it's just, I think it's too much. Okay. That's everything for part two of my collective haul. These are basically items that I've been getting for the first like quarter of this year, for the first like three months or so. I don't know when my next haul is going to be, to be honest, because this year I've definitely made a conscious effort to reduce the amount of hauls that I do. Um, so it might turn, it might end up being that I have a few items that I kind of collect and then share overall, like I have in this two part collective haul video. Um, or it might be that I share more in the moment, like unboxings or hauls, uh, as a YouTube short and then do more of a collective haul later. But basically I have so many video ideas on like follow-up videos that I want to film and share of like my constants. Uh, my new constants that I got and how I'm getting along with it. Um, some of the new jewelry that I picked up from Hermes and Cartier when I was in Hawaii. Uh, some of the ready to wear pieces that I got. Like I, I have so many things that I wanna share that I don't know when my next haul video is going to be. But um, I hope what you just heard is exciting for you and I hope you're interested to stick around. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, 